Hey everyone, this is Akshay and I'm here with a brand new motorcycling mod for you guys today. I'm going to show you how you can convert any of your old Android phones lying around you into an Android Auto head unit receiver. So one of the key things that we motorcyclists do while on a long ride or a short ride is navigation. So we take out our phone, set the destination and mount our phone onto the motorcycle handlebar using some sort of a mobile mount. Now this is going to do two bad things. One. It's likely to damage your camera system because of the vibrations from the motorcycle. So you can go to Google and you can search why you should not mount your expensive phones on your motorcycle while riding. And the second thing is obviously the lot of distractions that you're going to get. You're going to have a lot of calls. You're going to have a lot of messages, WhatsApp messages. You're going to have a lot of advertisement calls. And these are the last thing that you want while you're navigating on your motorcycle. Now there are a lot of Android Auto motorcycle head units available, but they're not going to come any cheap. They're going to cost you anywhere between 30 to 50,000 rupees. And the whole function is just going to enable you to use Android Auto on your motorcycle. However, using this tutorial, you can save on all that money and also make good use of your old smartphone lying in your home. So let's begin with the setup process. There are quite a number of steps on this process, but if you follow this tutorial step by step, you'll be able to get through it easily. Let's start off with the Bluetooth pairing process. Now I'm going to refer this phone as my navigation phone and my actual phone as the main phone. So let's pair this navigation phone with my main phone. To do that, I'm going to go to the Bluetooth settings and I'm going to search for my phone. I'm going to select my phone, which is the S23 Ultra in this case. So once this is paired, it's going to show up as saved or something else, depending on what your phone and OS is. But in general, you need to finish the pairing process. Now, the next thing that I want you to do is to set up a hotspot on your main phone and then connect to it on your navigation phone. Now I have enabled the hotspot on my main phone, which is the S23 Ultra, and I'm going to scan for the network here. As you can see, it just connected to my hotspot on the S23 Ultra because I had already connected it earlier. But in your case, you would need to connect it and ensure that it's connecting flawlessly. So with this step, we are done with the Wi-Fi hotspot pairing process and the Bluetooth pairing process. Now let's move on to the apps. For this purpose, you'll need two apps, one which will be installed on your navigation phone and the other one which will be installed on your main phone. Now let's begin with the installation of app on our navigation phone first. For that, you need to go to Play Store and search for this app called Hedulit Reloaded or uh, HUR. This app is developed by AA Wireless and you need to ensure that you download and use this app only. Now this is a paid app which costs around 430 bucks and trust me it's a bang for buck if you are planning to use Android Auto on your motorcycle. So once installed just click on open and you will be greeted with this interface. Now what you need to do is go to settings, connectivity and click on the Wi-Fi connection mode option. So here you will have a lot of other options. By default, it will be on network discovery. You need to switch it to the Wi-Fi client mode. In brackets, it will be written as phone will create the hotspot. So you need to select this option. Once done, go back and now click on graphics. Now the Android Auto will look pretty jittery if you do not have the pixel density set right. So this app lets you select a custom pixel density. So by default, it will be around 441 to 500. So what you need to do is you need to reduce the pixel density. In my case, I have reduced it to 300, which works fine for me, but you can try any values between 300 to 350. So once you have completed this, the setup on your navigation phone has been completed. Now let's move on to our main phone. Now we need to install an app called Wi-Fi Launcher from the Play Store. Now this app is also published by AA Wireless and this is a free app unlike the other app which is a paid one. 
Now we will need to install this on your phone. Once installed, just click on open and it's going to ask you for a couple of permissions. So the first permission is going to be allow Wi-Fi launcher to connect and determine the relative position of nearby devices. So this permission is for primarily connecting to the navigation phone, discovering it. You can click on allow. And the next one is going to be, it's going to ask you a permission to display over other apps. So you can click on OK and you can just enable this. Now the third permission is going to be to modify system settings. Now it's going to need this to switch on your Bluetooth and hotspot on your main phone so that your nav phone can connect to it. You can click on OK and you can just enable this. And lastly, it's going to ask you to turn off battery optimization because most of the smartphone OS these days have, an, uh, have a feature of closing out apps that suck out a lot of battery. Now, it's not for the battery sake primarily, but for the reason that you do not want the service to be closing if you want the Android Auto to be running on your other device. So you can just click on OK. And now this whole option might appear different for different phones, but uh, if it's Android, it's generally the same. You can just go to battery. And in my case, I have optimized. I'm going to change it to unrestricted. Now, at any point, whenever you are not using the app, you can actually disable these options. You can actually go to battery and make it optimized or restricted. And then you have appear on top and uh, change system settings. I would highly recommend that whenever you are not using this app and not only this app, any other app that demand these permissions, if you are not using it, kindly disable these two options for your security reasons. So by doing this, it can actually try to change a lot of your system settings or even read what's happening on any other app that's uh, on your phone. So whenever you're not using this app, I would recommend that you change this. You can just toggle this to off and even you can change uh, Wi-Fi launcher allow permission to off. But for the sake of this demo, I'm just going to leave it on because we're going to run it. Now, once all of these are done, it's going to show you a green check mark saying great all permissions are granted now the next thing is selecting the bluetooth device now this is why we had to pair our navigation phone to the main phone in the beginning so that we can see it in the list of bluetooth devices in this app it only showed the pair devices so click on this and in my case i've already selected the redmi note 6 pro click on ok Next, go to the wireless section and you have the Wi-Fi connection mode. You can click on this and you need to select the third option called create Wi-Fi hotspot. Now it says won't work on all devices, but yeah, you can just ignore it. It might work on a couple of devices, but mostly it will work. So once this is done, your setup on your main phone is also completed. So close all of the apps you can switch off the personal hotspot and now i'm going to get the nav phone into the picture now on my main phone i'm going to close the wi-fi launcher app and also ensure that my navigation phone is logged in a landscape orientation and then uh, start the head unit reloaded emulator on your navigation phone. Now here I'm going to start the Wi-Fi launcher and once I start the Wi-Fi launcher I'm going to click on start Wi-Fi service manually. The moment I click that I can see a hotspot icon has showed up and the Wi-Fi launcher like icon has showed up here and the Android Auto starts up on your navigation phone. You can see here that it's already showing my location and i can i can i can even set the navigation on this device so i'm just going to click on continue also i can have a split pane view wherein i can see my youtube music i can just click on it and now it opens up my youtube music 
Now on my navigation screen, I can even go to the apps just like on Android Auto and access a couple of the apps here. Now as a result of this whole setup, your Bluetooth headset from your helmet is no longer going to be connected to your main phone and it needs to be connected to your navigation phone. All the Bluetooth communication is going to be handled by this phone rather than your main phone. So the battery drain on your main phone also becomes significantly lesser. Now let's test the YouTube music playback. This is YouTube music on my main phone and I have reduced the volume down to zero so that it does not play from this phone. And on my navigation phone, I am going to control the volume. It's on a full volume. Let me just uh, bring it down to zero so that I can show you that a proof that I'm controlling the volume on this phone rather than this phone. So it started to play. So as you can see, even the YouTube music can be controlled on your navigation phone. Even when you receive calls on your phone, you will get a notification here and you can simply tap it away. So now let me show you post the setup cycle, how easy it is to connect on the subsequent runs. Now let's consider the scenario wherein I'm just planning for a ride and I have mounted this on my motorcycle. All I need to do is I need to ensure that my Wi-Fi and Bluetooth is on on my navigation phone and the Wi-Fi can connect to the uh, main phone's hotspot, right? And I do not have the app open here anywhere. Neither do I have the uh, Wi-Fi launcher app running on my main phone. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to switch on the head unit reloaded app. I'm going to switch on the Wi-Fi launcher and click on start Wi-Fi service manually. And it started. So it's that simple. I hope you liked this tutorial guys. And if you did like it, please do hit like and subscribe to my channel for more such content. Trust me, it took me a really long time to actually figure this out and put it into this really simple format that you guys can follow. So a like would be definitely appreciated. Thank you for watching this video. Until next time, this is Akshay signing off. Bye-bye.